Hello and welcome back. If this is the first time I'm meeting you, my name is Johnny from JMO Painting and it is lovely to have you here today. We're going to be doing a galaxy pour on a 10x10 canvas on my little spinny do. So, colors are di dioxazine purple, cerulean blue, I phthalo blue, yes, and artist loft black. We got a little bit of white just to create kind of that space starry look. So, I'm super grateful to have you here. Thank you. And with that, let's just get right into it. Now, I've had a lot of success with these colors in the past. I absolutely love these colors in combination with each other. They're a little thicker than I normally mix, but it's still gonna be brilliant. All right, so I'm gonna put this dioxazine purple in there first. And I also know that the way I've layered them in the past might contribute to how, how they've ended up. So I'm gonna try my best from memory, which everyone on this channel that knows me knows. My memory is super awesome and I don't ever forget anything. Sarcasm included in this channel. So this black is my base coat. There's no uh, silicone, there's no anything in that. So, got a little bit of black. We don't want a whole lot. I don't want it to take over. I do want this white to kind of create some kind of lacing effect through the colors. And I've never done this on the on the spinny do, so this is gonna be on uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I tell myself that now, and then we'll see. We'll see how it ends up. But so I know I've got a lot of comments about when I'm gonna update my Shopify store, when I'm gonna post paintings. That is going to be happening. When you watch this video, all of my new paintings, and I think there's about 40 of them, should be updated over there on Shopify. So if there was anything that I've painted in the recent past, probably in what's say a month or so, maybe two months, that you really wanted to get your hands on, it should be on the store right now, which it's at the first link in the description. Just go to our Shopify store and just browse around. If you see something that catches your eye, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. If you just want me to make something for you, custom colors, size, anything, I'm more than willing to work with you. Because I know not everybody has the time to do these things. I'm using my one day off a week to try to get content out here for you guys. So I only have today off, so I'm gonna try to get a few of these videos done today. I've had, I have some really interesting ideas. And of course I use inspiration. I draw it from others, but let me show you like a sneak peek. Okay, so this I actually dreamed about. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work, right? So we got a strainer, but I have my little shot glass and I was gonna do an open cup and let it run over the side of the glass with silicone and the minwax and see what kind of effects come out of there. So that's gonna be one of the videos. And then this is the one I've seen John Franklin Art do it. I think I just saw Tictus or Wiggles. I apologize. But they had a shot glass with color and then a monochrome black and white filling it up and did a flip cup and amazing results. So stay tuned because that is coming and I'm super excited about it. But yeah, one of them was a dream, one of them, I don't know. Is it sad that I dream of ways to paint? <sighs> I don't think so, nah, it's perfectly normal. I'm doing my thing guys where I'm, I know this cup is way too big for this canvas. This is a 12 by 12 and it's quite a large cup for this size of canvas, but we're gonna do it anyway. But there is like, I think I said this, there's silicone and there is min wax in both these. In all, and not all these colors, but intermixed within certain colors to create different effects. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to fill this cup all the way without kind of going overboard with the whole using too much paint thing. I might tone it down just a little. But, all right, that's all we're going to put in there. So I'm too excited to, to keep stalling. It's not really stalling, but I want to see what this looks like. All right, all right. So there's no silicone or anything in this because I don't want to don't want to mess up where the paint touches the canvas. We're going to have plenty of paint to coat this entire thing, so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm going to try this whole thing. I think I saw this on, on somebody else's channel where they, they flip it and not spill it everywhere. So, uh, well, I didn't quite get there, but would you look? at that that is insane yeah I already think I'm gonna love the way this comes out of the cup because if it just splashed out of the cup looking like that whoo hmm I was a little rough with it though you can see the canvas there so I'm just right now letting it kind of fall through the paint a little bit I chose this cup even though it's not a clear cup because it has more of a flat base because I don't like when the paint starts to drip and it leaves those little round circles in the very center. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Wow, what? Look at this cup. Can you see this cup? cup is like a galaxy in itself. All right, let me bring some of this back in. I think it, the cup did do a little bit of that dripping right there. And that's okay. That's nuts. Those colors. That is crazy. And you see the cells that the Minwax made all around that purple with the white kind of blended. That's nuts, I love that. All right, let's pop any kind of bubbles that we have. Also possibly make a little bit of that silicone reaction. I think what I wanna do with this is bring this section more to the middle. I don't know how that is going to affect when I spin it. It might become a problem, but I mean, we'll see. Was that cloudy purple cerulean blue color? It's cool, but I don't know if I want that in here. We should rule of thumb, right? Bring it back to the middle before you tote, right? I don't follow my own rules. Man, this, the cells and lacing just on the side of this are so intense. Gorgeous. So, let me put a little bit of black around the edge here. I don't have too much in here, but it should be enough to kind of help the composition just a little so we don't lose too, too much. I do know some of it's going to roll under because I don't have enough paint, and that's fine. That will be an acceptable loss. I'm just going to take this popsicle stick and kind of spread it a little bit, just a little. Anything I do on the edges out here that kind of disrupts the cells is okay because a lot of that is going to end up poured off the canvas. Look at that swipe I just did and it just did that. That's nuts. That just gave me an idea for a different video though, not this one. This one is supposed to have a galaxy look to it. But I am going to do this with negative space one day. And I'll have some wisps going through it. Look at that. Now that's just pretty right there. 
I'm gonna use this torch one more time. And as we thin it out, once we spin it, we'll be able to get a little bit more coming out to the surface. All right, this looks beautiful. All right, here we go. Just a gentle spin. We don't have to spin it hard. I've, I've learned that lesson. Don't have to spin it out too, too hard. That's nuts. That looks so good though. Let me bring a little bit of this to the center here. I just don't want to lose this awesomeness going on. So I'm giving a little bit of a stronger spin. That almost was enough to coat the edges, but I'm gonna take my handy dandy popsicle stick over here and we will touch up the edges with that. This just looks crazy. Goodness, even where it poured off, you can see it's like creating its own little cells and swipe there. That's nuts, guys. Absolutely gorgeous, though. So it's a pretty rainy day here in North Carolina. Today's supposed to be a pretty rainy day from what the weatherman said, if you believe things like that. But let me hit this thing with a torch one more again and see if we can bring out any additional cells. But it definitely has a galaxy look to it. I'm very, very happy with how this ended up. And this heat is also like helping bring some of that minwax out. Which I just love the way the minwax looks. Yep. Such subtle little layers in here. You'll see it a lot better when I get to bring you guys down, but it just looks fantastic. To me, anyway. I mean what does this painting remind you guys of? You can tell me that in the comments. I would love to hear it. So let me stop. I'm going to bring you guys down for this close-up. And I'm just excited. You can see just the tiny little cells. And then some portions of this look almost like a straight pour. Like one of them feather paintings that Olbus Obi does and stuff like that. And then we got like this crazy little lacing going on. And then we move over here to these cells, these big old bubbly cells. And you see the, like, the min wax doing its work in there. Pushing that cerulean blue off to the side. And you got this cool little white lacing going in there. And then it moves into some more bubbly cells. I love it. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.